Along with their natural beauty, trees provide humans with the valuable product of wood. Thousands of things we use every day are made from wood. Wood that is cut into usable pieces is called lumber. Furniture, baseball bats, toys, paper products, and musical instruments all come from lumber. Almost every building uses lumber in its construction. Look at these workers build this apartment and you can see how wood is used to make just about every part of the building. Before a tree is cut to make lumber, a scientist trained in taking care of the forest decides which tree should be cut down. It is a logger's job to fell or cut down the tree. The lumber mill is the place where logs are made into lumber. Here the wood is cut into usable pieces. After the tree bark is removed, the logs are placed on a conveyor belt that takes them inside the mill. The logs are moved onto a large platform that runs along tracks, similar to a train. Each time a log moves back and forth on the tracks, it passes a saw that slices off a board. What does a baseball player use that comes from lumber? A baseball bat. Bats are made from the wood of ash trees because this wood is strong enough to withstand all of that swinging and hitting. At the baseball bat factory, the wood is placed on a lathe, which is a machine that spins it around very quickly and allows the bat maker to create the bat's balanced shape. Once the body of the bat is the proper size, the shaper sands the rough edges until the bat is nice and smooth. Every year the forest grows billions of new seedlings. But what happens if we cut down trees faster than the forest can grow back? Before logging, forests covered up to 60% of the Earth's land. Today, forests only cover 30%. The effort to save forests and the plants and animals that live there is called conservation.